What's up y'all, it's Timmy, and today I'm taking you to Alpine Creek Lodge out in the Alaska wilderness, out the Denali Highway, so let's go do it. Welcome to Truck House Life, baby. Get the truck unpacked. We're gonna go out riding this weekend. I'm about to do the sketchiest thing, maybe that I've ever done. I've never tried this yet. So I'm gonna try this super flimsy, sketchy ramp. We'll see what happens. Here goes nothing. Okay. Not too bad. It's my first uh, sled deck load ever. She's up there. Lovely winter conditions. This looks like it could be bad. That's right, that's right. We're on our way toward the Alaska range, the Alaska mountain range to be exact, up in Denali, up in the wilderness. And we're going to none other than Alpine Creek Lodge, which as you guys know, is my favorite lodge in Alaska. So we're all loaded. If any of you guys were wondering what I did with my truck bed when I did the flatbed, this is it. I cut a junkyard F-350 in half that was totaled, stole the frame, stole the axle, and uh, put my old truck tires and wheels on it, put my truck bed on. Now it's a sweet trailer, pretty cool. And uh, anyway, we're going north. I've got to pick up the infamous Matt Brenna, one of my good buddies, one of my oldest buddies in Alaska. And uh, we're heading north to uh, Alpine Creek Lodge together. Let's go. Shots are ridiculous. I do these for you guys. So let's go. Here's the Alaska cabin right here that I built with my dad. Um, I'll give you guys a tour of that before too long here. There's a the good old samurai towed up. Pretty freaking sweet. I'm gonna be doing some adventures with that very soon. <laughs> for those of you guys that do not know, I live in Girdwood, Alaska, and it's just one of my favorite towns up here. It's really chill, lots of cool people, lots of my good friends live here. It's just enough out in the wilderness that you don't feel like you're in the city. Got a good community. I just like it. I don't know. It's a good central place in which to branch out and do all your outdoor activities from. So I enjoy it. Looks like the old 7.3 is about out of fuel. Diesel over here. This dude's going somewhere. You know what's actually pretty funny is diesel is cheaper in Alaska than it is like throughout my entire lower 48 road trip, which is kind of nuts because usually fuel is more in Alaska, but not now. All right, let's go.
I just got had so bad. So I dropped my sled off at uh, Hatcher Pass Polaris a couple days ago because I picked it up from the shop, from the dealership, and uh, it worked. It ran 10 minutes and the engine cut off. Anyway, uh, I get a call from uh, uh, my buddy who had used someone else's number, so I didn't recognize the number. So I talked to him and he totally got me for quite a while. Convinced me that my engine was blown due to overheating and I had a gerbil stuffed in my radiator and they couldn't cover that under <laughs> warranty. But, uh, and it turned out to be Matt Brenna, of course, who I'm going to pick up in a few minutes here. But uh, check this message out, this is kind of funny. Yeah, hey, Keith here over at the Hatcher Pass Polaris. Uh, give me a call about your sled when you get a chance, 907-297-8677, thing. <laughs> it's so messed up, he got me good. All right, let's go get him. I just got done with a doctor's appointment for my knee. Um, as some of you guys know, I didn't ski at all last year. My knee's been messed up for years. And uh, finally getting that MRI to see what's going on. We're almost at old Matt Brenna's house. He just bought his first house. I'm almost proud of him, but not really. <laughs> Should be here in a second though. Not a bad neighborhood, Brenna. Not too bad. Oh, there it is. There's home. Oh, snap. Yeah, it's kind of a pain. I gotta figure out a better system for this. Sweet. It's frozen solid. What? Really? There we go. I need to do pins and clips or something. I don't know. You can see how that just kind of loosely holds it there. People use sled decks all the time, but they sketch me out. I don't know. It's like if anything happens and you fall, like you're gonna break your arm. <laughs> you can't really go slow up either. You go like kind of go fast and then slow down. There's good traction all the way till you get like almost all the way up and then it just kind of stops. Maybe with a long track though. I'm gonna let you hit it. Oh yeah. Do you want me to film you? I don't know. Cam Chan. Don't, don't not film. So Timmy wrecks my sled. Thank God. I'm like, look at that. <laughs> Does it look sketchy? I don't know. I think it looks all right. So our plan tonight is to roll up to Matt's cabin that uh, him and a buddy built up in Willow. So it'll be like, you know, two hours closer or so. And we'll wake up super early in the morning and drive uh, another three hours up to Cantwell. And then a 60 mile ride in Maybe 70 miles, maybe 80 miles, I can't remember, to Alpine Creek Lodge. That's the plan. It's supposed to be snowstorms and blizzards and such. We'll see. All right, already get problems. It's going. <laughs> He's moving right. like that suitcase. You kidding me? This just broke right now. Oh, wait, no, this is probably locked. Better be that. That's right. Dodging bullets. <laughs> Dodging bullets. <laughs> Yep, literally haven't left the driveway. Oh man. These are my trailer lights today. I get brake lights, I get turn signals. I went to the car wash the other day and sprayed something under there and it ripped something loose, so. Tail light solution. There we go. I mean, I think you'll see that in the dark just fine. I forget to mention, uh, you guys know we're going to Alpine Creek Lodge and we're gonna go meet up with Bob, who is kind of the son of the uh, owners. And then, of course, the infamous Claude and Jennifer Bondi. And we're also gonna meet Chrissy. We're on our way. Here we go. We're gonna fuel up the sleds, and uh, I'm excited. This is my favorite place to go, one of my favorite places to go in Alaska, if not my favorite place. And uh, you guys will see why. I'm gonna show you. Holy Oh, yeah. I like how you have a step up, but it's just as high as the truck. Yeah, like that. <laughs> my favorite move is stepping up, then you step your head right into the top. You can go through this way. A tiny little light back there. I think that's legit, right? Like you can have a tail light out. Like as long as you have something, a trailer light, then you're good. We got brake lights, signals. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've driven around with a lot worse, but I attract a lot less attention. At this point, I probably just grabbed dinner and passed through a cellar or something. Yeah, I'll get a little Wendy's or something. A little butt plug sandwich. Get the cheese butt plug sauce, please. So this thing towed that whole. 
car, no problem, huh? Oh yeah. Did, Did you use the same tow hitch, like an upside down tow hitch? Same. Uh, no, ball. I put a different one on here. Different ball. Because I didn't bring it. Say, it seems like it'd be kind of a special hitch, right? Like a two and a quarter ball or something. You made it to the cabin. It's cold. <sighs> Ten degrees. <sighs> outside. Yeah, outside. That's actually. In the so it's colder in here. Yeah, it's way colder. In here. Actually, Fire's going though. Let's take a look. Ooh, no, uh, yeah. It'll warm it's up nice and fast. fast. This propane gets it going pretty quick too though. So you know you're in AK when check that sign out. I'm messing around. There you go. Thank you. Rolling out of Willow. Already Sons raining. Sausage dragon cheese, baby. I'm going to beat that dude. Sausage dragon cheese. Good timing. Oh. <laughs> well, guess what? We just hit a couple bumps back there and my window just disappeared. Window's gone. All right. Oh yeah, it blew out. Look at that. I think, is that glass? No, that's ice. That's ice. Yeah, my window's gone. The window's gone. <laughs> window literally just uh, fell out. Just fell out. That's crazy. Uh, I don't even know what to say about that. I don't see broken glass. Oh wait, no, wait, we're good. We got it. Window's in there? Yeah. Just you know, down. just sucked it down. That's weird. <laughs> Never a dull moment. It's crazy. <laughs> Driving along, like, man, it's cold in here. There's like no window. I don't, like, I didn't roll anything down. I don't know. That's weird. That's pretty weird. <laughs> Don't kill my vibe. Welcome to camp. Well, almost there at the trailhead. All these moose out here chilling. Oh, there's moose here. Jesus. One, two moose. Three, three four, five, five three six. over there. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna slide right past the turn. It's cold. This wind is blowing hard right now. We're getting all packed up. Got a little bit of survival gear. There's two of us going, but yeah. <laughs> Matt can't even move. He's got so many layers on. What temperature does it say up there? I can't see in the freaking thing. So it's uh, five degrees. I bet this, this wind chill, it feels like it's negative something, but I don't know. Unload some sleds. We're getting ready to do this. We're getting ready to do this. It's cold outside. We going. Got the sleds running. That's so crazy. It feels so much colder than 12 degrees, but it's what it is. Bring uh, oh. some ibuprofen. Might need some of that. Hopefully not, but we'll need it. Um, there's all the stuff. The thermometer says 12 degrees, but I will assure you that it's cold as a bitch outside. Let's get these sleds off. Look at that guy's buried in right there. We're rolling out this road right here in a minute. Um, I think it's almost 80 miles to the lodge. I can't remember. I can't remember. Ramp is sketchy. I told you I suck. I'm not trying to prove anything out here. All right, uh, we're gonna finish packing and uh, go.
busted my uh, inside of my hand pretty good there with the mallet. He can't get his oil cap off. It's like using the shackle and the mallet. It's game on. We're going. Uh, weather is looking uh, a little bit inclement, but I think we'll be fine. Let's go do it. Well, that's a wrap, y'all. Stay tuned for the next episode where we continue on our way out to Alpine Creek Lodge. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace, y'all.